Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Crypto Logic Podcast. My name is Mike. This is your co-host, John. And the goal on our channel is to create generational wealth through logic and understanding. So if that sounds like you, definitely subscribe to the channel, like the video if you find something helpful. With that being said, let's dive into the show. Question. No. Oh, you, you point your finger. So I, I, just, I thought you had a question. I was just doing some cool stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. News. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How are you guys doing today? We really hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I mean, with with the crypto space being good, you know, green right now, uh, I feel Sheeb. like everybody should have a good day. Man, I sold all my cryptos and put it in Sheeb over the weekend. Everything. <laughs> Hey, I said you know, forget this. You know, forget it. Funny? XRP, H bar. A lot of people Happy, seem to be doing all. that. I sold it all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know I saw some people do it. Some people were like, I'm selling 20% of XR. I don't care. I don't care. I was like, hey man, hey. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes. It is. I hope it goes well. I was for you guys. tweeting at people. I was like, hey, you guys better you guys are just holding this thing. You better take some profit. It's gonna come right back down. And other people were saying that it's gonna come, it's not sustainable. People were really gonna hold this thing. Hey man. And I'm like, take some profits. I, Buy some real coins with the profits. I mean, so this one guy yelled at me and he was like, dude, nobody cares about utility. Right now it's not utility. All your utility coins haven't done anything. <laughs> it's a cycle. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? It goes Bitcoin. What are you talking Ethereum, about? Ethereum, meme coins, utilities, and then now we got to add NFTs in the mix too. NFT yeah. tokens and NFT wave, euphoria. NFT Gar season. I Gary think it has v a season. Yeah, Gary V drops his NFT thing. Everyone's the hype's going to come right back for Facts. NFTs. Solana. I, is he? I think he's making a, a V Friends series too. Yeah, that's what you, I, you, I think. you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. I think he's making a series too. But I mean, I wonder what the what the perks of series two is going to be because it can't be like oh you get it can't be the same as V Friends number one. So that's going to be interesting to find out what what that is. But uh, but it's going to be awesome. It's going to be pretty dope. You know, can't wait for that. Can't wait for any of that. All right, let's dive into the uh, let's dive into the market cap, guys. Let's just let's just dive in, right? So the overall crypto market cap is sitting at 2.62 trillion, up almost 5% on the day. Bitcoin is doing pretty good after, you know, that whole Binance US type thing cracking all that where it dipped to like $8,700. Um, you know, it has a little bit of FUD, so it went down to like 60K over the weekend. Um, and then our, in our last show, we, t we were like, hey, you know, let's see what's going to happen during the weekend, uh, you know, with the ETF launching and things of that nature. Um, but there was some news that came <laughs> hey, out. That's what we said. We said just give it some time for Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin was gonna pump back up. Yeah, yeah, and we, it did. That's it exactly did. what happened. It did. Um, there was some news that came out today uh, regarding um, Bitcoin, and I want to share with you guys that real quick. So this was breaking earlier on Twitter. Um, it says Mastercard is set to announce uh, a plan to allow all merchants to accept Ooh. Bitcoin and offer Bitcoin rewards. So you know that that that's gonna be pretty dope. Imagine, I mean, Mastercard is doing. I'm pretty yeah. sure Visa is going to be. That's doing what I was going to say. I was like, Visa. It's like Visa, your move. <laughs> exactly. What are they going to do? <laughs> that's exactly. tight. But that just means that Bitcoin is. If that just means the crypto space and as a whole is being legitimized more and more and more every single day, and it just keeps making me go, come like. The way that the crypto space was five years ago is nothing compared to what it is now. Just take a look at anything in, in life. Just take a look at anything. Social media, businesses now know they're hiring people who create content, right? Before, it was people used to laugh at you for trying to talk on Instagram. And it was just, they just wanted you to post pictures and post posts and, you know, and things that you're eating, things that you're doing. And then once people started talking on there and, like, documenting themselves, people started looking at you finally why are you doing that who do you think you are and then now it's like you you make money off of that right and then people you monetize to, it. yeah before i remember that wave i don't know if anyone else if you're watching this ever thought about it like that you used to make funny skits and everything like that and then it went to instagram people started following other people because they're like oh why are you like posting all this stuff you're being on it like you know who you are and then it happened with tiktok people on tiktok we're making TikToks and they're laughing at you and in the older generation we're laughing at the younger generation. Now the younger generation, they're making tens of thousands of dollars <laughs> with brands. Yeah. That guy that that drank the cranberry juice 
changed his life with one video. Oh yeah, the, the, the guy with the tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was riding a skateboard. Yeah, and he bought like a house after. Yeah, yeah. he bought a I house. Remember that guy. guy. The guy was being sponsored everywhere. I remember. And he, he off one video changed his entire life. And I mean, looking at the guy, no offense, <laughs> but he wouldn't be like yeah. that guy would be famous. Yeah, and you he, know? he blew up. And then there's multiple and multiple, multiple stories like that happening. That's crazy. It's big scale, small scale, mid scale. It doesn't matter. Some people have like 15,000, but now they quit their job because Facts. now they're getting paid from brand. Rec what I'm saying is that's how the world has changed. Now these companies, they're hiring, they're hiring people to make content for them. Because Crypto they, content they, as well. Crypto content as well. Yeah. Crypto content in general. So that's why I'm saying this is a side rant because it's like this is how history always rhymes. This the same thing that happened to businesses and social media is happening to crypto. Crypto five years ago, it wasn't cool unless you were in it and you were cool within the community. But then on the outside world, they would look at you like a tin hat or a weirdo. Like, why they, are you wasting your time with this? I mean, Loki, they still do, even though we have all this oh, news and yeah, stuff that come yeah. out. They they. It, it's like they don't understand it. It's, it's just it's the further people though. Like if you look at it at a, as a, like, a, like a radius, initially it was a core group of people, and then it's spreading, and more people are starting to get gravitate towards it. There's only people on the outskirts that are like, nah, I'm never going to crypto. Those are the people that still think buying a home is the right thing to do. People that work at nine to five. No offense if you do, but there's people. But there's some people that work nine to five. They know that this is not the life that they want to live, and they're trying to get out of it. That's right. the difference between someone that's just in it it's like oh this is my life I'm, I'm in it forever like until i'm 65 like whatever like but there's people that want to get out of that life cycle but crypto it's spreading and reaching more people than it did back in 2017 2018 2019 true it's spreading and reaching a lot more people so there's still people that are like skeptical and hating on it or not, don't understand it but if you really think about it there's a lot of people now that are like giving it attention and then respecting it a little bit more because it's, people are money is being made and big companies, big corporations. And then we said this during the bear market, things like this, they, there's no bear market for, for, for rich people. Technically it's not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I mean, even they're going to keep making deals, making moves. Even during the P word, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to say it because exactly. it's monetized now. Exactly. It, it, an article came out that said that the top 1% made majority of their money during that time while everyone else was freaking out yeah and there was calm. how was that even possible what somebody said i don't know if it was warren buffett somebody said this and it says never let a good pandemic go to waste the p word never let it let another good one go to waste it's true i mean while everyone was looking over here well for everyone who's uh you know listening to this i'm pointing to my left your right um everyone was looking over here while there was a whole nother narrative yeah which Shout out to Coach JV. In hindsight, I guess it would be crypto for generational wealth. It's just one of the avenues, but there was a whole nother narrative the other way. You know, you got yeah. you got crypto, you got real estate, Dude, you got you got NFTs. Social media is social another media. one. It's, social, it's a lot, man. People don't realize this. Social media, content creation, crypto. There's a lot of ways to make money from the traditional aspect of what we were taught growing up. Right. Getting a degree and going through the school, getting hundred thousand dollar debt buying a home and doing all that there's a lot of different avenues now to make wealth you can make passive income with crypto now as well as passive income with airbnb churro um you you, you don't even need to, you can literally download an app instacart doordash uber and now you don't even have to go through an, a hiring process you just download the app make sure your record's clean or whatever the case may be upload yep. your stuff have a car and now you can make money on your own terms Fast. schedule your own hours yep you I mean, don't even have to go wear a suit and get apply and and sit there and go work at McDonald's anymore. That's why every place you look at, they're saying not hiring. There's their staff needs staff. You know, no one people start realize that hey, I can make my own money on my own terms. You could literally make the same, if not more, doing um whatever that word gig uh, worker, gig worker, gig worker, and that's and then start start a business running ads for people or start a business making content for people. This is a tangent now, rant, but that's how powerful the world that we're heading into is. Yep. And crypto is gonna be like the leading charge of the it. Caveat. That's, it's just like, like, like this is the icing on the cake. Crypto is just gonna be the because it's changing the whole system that we know. It really is. And you man. can't ignore it because every everyone I feel like, uh, not everyone. I'm sorry, I can't say every everyone, but majority of people that that really understand crypto and know how to play the game and and all of that, they've they've amassed a pretty good amount of wealth, uh, you know, up into this point, and they will even further on as the bull run continues. You know, so uh, crypto is is one of those avenues where 
If you don't respect the, the space, you will get wrecked. But if you do understand how to play the game and how to how it fine. works, you're going to be fine. And on top of it, you can come out with an extra couple of zeros on your bank account. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's just so much don't that you can do bank, with crypto. Though. Don't man. give it to the bank. Put Definitely in, don't put do it, that. Put it in the exchange. Or, I mean, it sucks, but better than exchange in the bank. You yeah, can stake it. I would put in like a like a ledger or you know something where you can stake it or you can get passive, passive income. income. Yeah, use the yeah. passive money, then put the passive money into your bank or whatever. Exactly, if you really need to. But I mean, now now with the crypto cards, you don't really need yeah. to put it back in the bank. Why? You know what I'm saying? Doesn't make sense. Now uh, Ethereum's at 4100, which is uh, you know amazing. Hopefully, uh, we'll hit all time highs relatively soon yeah, on yeah, Ethereum. Yeah. What do you think? I'm thinking maybe yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Probably Thursday. I, I saw a funny meme where it was the Captain America one. Uh huh. Where it was, you know, how he's in the elevator. I don't know if anyone's seen that. Oh, one. yeah, yeah. And With all like, the Hydra you people. Know, you know what? Uh, eat, uh, my TV and Ethereum have in common. And he's like, what? They're both 4K. And he's like, oh! <laughs> it's so funny to me. <laughs> oh, that is actually, I love it. That I actually, love it. That's actually a good one. I love it. I love it. That's dope. I'm going to post it on the YouTube. Um, thing. So Binance is, uh, is trying to hit 500. I mean, when. When we were in the meme coin era, I think Binance was like at six hundred dollars for one uh, BNB. So yeah. you know, it potentially could probably get there again. Um, you know, Cardano has been consolidating for the last couple of days, uh, sitting at about two fifteen. I'm surprised BNB never got smoke from the SEC or anything. Oh, because of all the they're allowing coins? all those pump and dumps to be built on their platform or their their blockchain. I mean, yeah. I mean, who's to say they they won't though? You know, That's later true. on. You know, you never know. Um, there was some weird stuff going on with uh, USDT, USDC. Uh, I don't know if possibly die as well. Remember when they were all like ninety nine cents all at the same time? Yeah, yeah. That was there was some there was some weird stuff going on um, with that. And you know what? I didn't know that die technically isn't fully decentralized stablecoin. It's like backed off of USDT, I think. It's it either is? USDT or USDC. It's one of those two, um, which was, was kind of strange. Uh, that is strange. If anyone knows which one it is, can you please comment it down in the comment section down below um, and let us know. Now, uh, Solana has been doing uh, amazing things. We're going to get into, you know, Solana's price and, you know, why it's doing what it's doing and all of that. We want to give you guys an update on Solana and tell you why exactly it's it's kind of going crazy right now. Um they were talking about you know Solana lapping XRP, uh, which you know it did, <laughs> um, and it did. So you know XRP is sitting at you know a dollar nine. Uh, a lot of people were like, "Look, bro, XRP is not doing anything. It's literally just stagnant." Yeah, I got people saying they want to sell you know, XRP to like, the sheep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are saying that they want to sell their XRP, but um, you know, I'm going to continue to hold it. You know, I, I I'm a firm believer in what it Same potentially here, could do. Uh, you know, RV. it's solving like John always says, it solves a trillion dollar problem. And uh, I just don't think that the CEO of Ripple slash XRP will just let XRP go to zero. You know, um, that's just my opinion. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to agree with me. But that's just what I think. All right. Uh, Polkadot. You know, we like to talk about Polkadot, you know, with all the pair chains going on. Hopefully uh, I really wanted to get into the Moonbeam pair, uh, pair chain, but you're not able to do it in the United States. So that's unfortunate. Dang, I but vpn vpn uh, yeah low key low key might use a vpn but uh but yeah it, i i really like the pair chains man akala's pair chain as well uh, i want to get into that uh, they haven't told you when they're actually going to launch yet but i am on the white list for that so i just want to give you guys some clarification for for anyone who's in the akala uh <laughs> kind of field if you guys like akala then you know shout out to you guys um dogecoin hasn't really done much uh it's trying right to catch to 28 some, cents I saw. it's trying to catch some steam off of like sheep though you know yeah, where is she by anyway uh 11 no Damn. 13 it was at 11 Keep and now it dropped it <laughs> it dropped to 13 I just wish i could just just kick it down <laughs> kick it down like well i mean nah, it's, i don't want to hate anybody making money so. sheep sheep has been up as you can see, it's been up, what, 41% on the week, but it's down almost, you know, 12% on the day. And, uh, I mean, we're, we'll get into why right now. I, I, I'll, t I'll show you guys why Sheep is down. Um, so, as you guys know about Sheep, right? Go ahead. Was it the... Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, as you guys know about Sheep, right? It's, it's, it's only... It only ever pumps because 
recently it's been because of Elon, so, right? He yes. tweets a dog. He, you know, he says he shows a little, uh, you know, picture avatar on his Twitter and they think that it's something else. It's not even about she doesn't even like she. It's nothing about she. She doesn't even like she. They just they they just have this like, oh, he loves us. He loves us. And she got the biggest blow to them over the weekend because one of the sheep guys tweeted he asked hey elon how much sheep are you holding and uh elon must put elon, none. elon must tweeted back and he said none they freaking <laughs> they hated him because it tanked yeah, it tanked at 20 percent. you know this, why would he all of a sudden just oh i like sheep because you guys wanted to copy the hype of doge and make a lot of fake money for people that's the reason why she was created. It was the Dogecoin killer. Like, why would he support that if he's saying he's going to be the first Dogecoin trillionaire? He's going to put Doge on the moon, literally. Like, he's going to put the Dogecoin coin on the moon. It's I delete my Twitter account or change the name at least after this brutal response from Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, bro. People are freaking out. I mean, dude. No, that guy. That guy's making fun of him. Yeah, but low key people are like none. What the hell? People are freaking out though. But but Stupid. Elon Musk did he did say that he 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 likes Dogecoin. On yeah. Sunday on Sunday he tweeted out. He said lots of people talk um, talk to a lot a lots of people I talk to on the production lines of Tesla or building rockets at SpaceX own Doge. You know they are they aren't financial experts or Silicon Valley technologists. That's why I decided to support. He he openly says he will support or he does support Dogecoin. It feels it felt like the people's crypto. Yeah, he's always been saying that. Always. Doge was one of the was the, the first one we got it. Flip we flipped the hell out of it. We made money and flipped it. Yep. Doge was that it one. Wasn't, for us. It wasn't like you know I like, I like Doge, but I'm like hey, it doesn't do anything. I'm not gonna hold it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna invest into Dogecoin as an investment. Right. I, I would use it too. I would use Dogecoin to pay for stuff. Yeah, AMC. I, I'd rather use Dogecoin than use money. I would rather use Dogecoin than give, uh, you know, AMC my Ethereum or my Bitcoin yeah. or anything like if that. If I was going to pay something, I'd rather pay with Dogecoin than, you know, with Fiat or Ethereum. Like you said, yeah, I would. I'd, hey, I, I don't mind switching over Dogecoin. Here, here you go, AMC. <laughs> Take Doge. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, I mean, he recently came out. I mean, he hasn't recently. But in this article, he recently came out, you know, saying like, hey, I'm with Doge. I don't hold any of this sheep she, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, poof, he poof. just, he, he, he had to, I felt like he had to say this. You know what I'm saying? He finally had to come out and say that he doesn't hold any of it or he doesn't endorse it because it was, it was getting too crazy at this point, dude. We were like, if you say anything about sheep on TikTok, Twitter, I mean, XRP is kind of like that too, though. God, they it, will attack you till death. Sheep. Yeah. It's funny, but at least XRP has utility, though. Yeah, you know, but people hate on XRP because everyone thinks XRP. I'm not saying it's negative, but a lot of people think it's the chosen one, right? I think right. so too, but it's by and by. A lot of there's a side that thinks XRP is the chosen one, and there's a side that's like, why do you guys think that it's being sued with you dummies? Like they don't like that because it makes it seem like it undermines all their crypto. I'm like, dude, XRP is is literally doing everything different from a lot of these cryptos. It's not worried about anything else. Like just like Quant, Quant isn't worried about, why do you think they're working together? They're exactly. Not, they're, worried about other, they're worried about changing the way the world is gonna operate. That's the problem. They're trying to fix that type of problem. They're not worried about, you know, what price are gonna hit. That's what sheep worried about. Oh, they hit a cent. Oh, one day we're gonna hit a cent. <laughs> like that's and it's always a cent, that. dude. Yeah, it's literally it's, always a cent. They got other things to worry about. So dumb. So while you're hating on XRP, and you're over here thinking that we're hating on sheep, I'm like, dude, you guys are holding it to make money. Yes, that's great, but that's all it is. It's it's a damn it's a security. <laughs> it's legit. You guys got sued, it'd be the done rap to rap. I think so. I mean, because they have no definitive, they have th nothing. Coin, can they say that? Oh, it's not a security. Coinbase is making so much money off of these people. Facts. Holy cow! All these exchanges I listed it, they're making so much money off of it. Yeah. All the fees, transaction fees. That's what they want. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, you know, because this next article we're gonna be talking about is Nigeria becoming one of the first African countries to launch its CBDC. Hey, now, Crown's next. I wonder. Is Nigeria you who is Nigeria using as the railroads to 
do some, their digital. Is in there. It's not, dude. I, I looked uh, up. Um, but the name of it is Inara, and they have a. It, they basically did like what uh, El Salvador did. They're creating a wallet for their mm. country, and then everybody has to use that. Um, has to use that uh, wallet to to get their cryptocurrency. But I mean, before Africa was like kind of like, eh, we don't know if we like crypto. But they didn't really have a choice, man. Their money was basically nothing. And it's, yeah. it's, it's messed up to say, but they, their, their money was worth nothing. So they either got with the program or they didn't. But I'm interested to know, like, is it going to be XLM? You know, because, you know, know you, got, you got Acoin with, uh, you know, Acon doing his thing. It's, it's you built know. by the government. Um, they said it, when I did some coin. research, they said it was a private blockchain, you oh. know, which is which is a little different um you know public blockchains everything is public but like, apparently theirs is on a private blockchain i'm not sure what Damn. what that entails. someone's building it someone's yeah. building it you know it'll I don't, come I don't out know. one of these days whether it's quant whether it's XLM. But look at china who's building china's blockchain we don't know either yeah we don't maybe they're doing it themselves theirs is private as well that's what i'm saying so i don't, I don't yeah. know I don't, I don't i don't know oh wow there's 14 other countries now in the pilot stages with their own central bank digital currency yep. china sweden south korea and there's 81 countries in the stages. Um, only five have fully launched them. The Bahamas, Grenada, St. Kitts, Nevis, Antigua, and Barbe Barbuda, and St. Lucia. Yeah. Damn. It's it. I want the reason I, I want to know which which crypto is basically going to be the railroad to their digital currency is because I want to be invested in the technology behind it. So I know that this this particular crypto whether it's quan xrp xlm whatever whichever one it is electronium whatever i want to be like hey i'm invested into this so when it rockets there's a there's a it's like a solidification like yeah all right i'm i'm, I'm in the right spot you know what i'm saying just for me you know yeah. I, I, I like to i like to think that way that's how my mind works you know i would rather be on this side of it the technology than having to have to use the technology because i'm you know don't understand what's really going on well, everyone's looking this way. I'm I'm over here looking this way. The so. thing is, they they banned their banks and finance institutions from dealing and facilitating in cryptocurrencies in February. So they, yeah. they did what China did. They're like, hey, none of you guys use any cryptos. You go and use our crypto. So we got. I don't know. They might have a. I mean, it's crazy. What crypto is there? It might be a separate one. They might have created it's just technology. True. They probably have some come people build build it on their own, build a private one. Who knows? Maybe that's why it's private. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's private. They don't want nobody to use their technology. Yeah. Or the other African countries yeah. to use it. I don't know. Different weird. Now, uh, John found this tweet of Jordan mm. Belfort. Yes, uh, so this which, is this is a very important part. Which is pretty dope, you know. Um and we'll leave a timestamp for this section so you guys can kind of uh lead back to this if you miss it. This is this is why this is the section is why we think the bear market is not gonna be as bad as years past the past bear market right we've been saying this for a long time and this is more solidifying what why we believe so and then is this where we're going to tie in the cryptos we think that are going to survive during the bear market too yeah i mean that, yeah. that would be a perfect segue yeah, yeah. so um so i'm going to read this real quick and then we'll jump into uh the cryptos that we believe will uh will stand the test of time yeah uh no pun intended sorry wonderland <laughs> so jordan belford said wow i love nft twitter and now that i'm here i'm not beep leaving good night that's from wolf of wall street i'm not fucking leaving <laughs> i'm not fucking leaving is that where he's like yeah hey. that's yeah yeah that's the leonardo DiCaprio, wolf of wall street yeah, 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 yeah i love yeah. that movie one i gotta watch best, it again man i feel like i haven't watched it in a movie, while one of the best movies of all time yeah so, i'm not fucking leaving <laughs> oh, that's, I mean, he, dude, this guy's killing it right now. He's on TikTok, killing it. Did he buy a crypto punk? Yeah, oh, yeah. He this, bought a crypto uh, punk. I forgot to show you. Um, he, uh, here, go to his page. That's a cool crypto. There's a punk. picture of him. Go down. That's Wolf Wash right there. Congrats, Wolf, on your punk purchase. Ah, he bought it. But this guy, he's a you know he's successful. You know why? You know you know the story. Look it up, right? But basically, this is what I'm saying. Like the, that's they, cool. They're, they're, there's too much eyes on crypto now. There's way too Mike Tyson's profile pictures of NFT. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's so many eyes on crypto. We got rappers, celebrities, musicians, artists, af athletes tweeting, asking questions about it. And you got um, influencers. They, they've been on making it. commercials about it now. Yeah. There he is right there. Bitcoin. Uh, I, mean, I think it was what? Megan the Stallion, Cardi B, uh, uh, Steph Curry. <laughs> Look, he tweeted. <laughs> We're going to make it. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's all crypto terms. Yeah. That's all crypto terms. Yeah. That's, that's all crypto terms. We're gonna make it. That's like, interesting. Like, come on. Like, this is why we're saying the crypto space is not. So, if anyone listening in the podcast, Jordan Belfort tweeted, right? He's like, I love NFT Twitter. He already read it, but then he tweeted again. We're gonna make it. Yeah, that's a crypto it, term. Uh, w- WG, WGMI. Yeah, WGMI. Yeah, and it's basically saying like, where? How is crypto gonna be dead when 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 all these eyes are on it? They're not gonna know. Like these people that are rich. They don't. You gotta understand. They don't think like we do. They don't know what it's like to be broke anymore. I mean, like they know what it's like to be broke if they were broke before. But when they're rich, there's the bear market. Like all oh, that, they they understand how to invest. They don't see. Oh, it's all red. No, it's over. They're gonna be buying it up. Right. That's what we should be doing. That's what if you did that back in 27, 2018, you'd be freaking wealthy today. But Ballin. like that's why during the bear market, there's it's just a, it's just an opportunity for them, especially in this new space. Right. It's just an opportunity. So they they will treat it year round the same way. They're just not gonna buy during the you know everything pumping, but they'll buy when everything is going down and be happy doing so. So and, so in your opinion, what what crypto? What do you want to do? Top five or top three? No, oh, three still little. There's a bunch of them out there. Okay, though. I'm gonna go top five then. What is your top five uh, cryptos that you think will will not dip so hard during the uh, the bear market? Which ones do you think will be like the? Uh, I think happy. Okay. I like happy. Happy. Okay. It's I tokenomics, agree. VXV. Okay. Flow. VXV, flow. Got it. Three. Quant. Quant's Quant. gonna be working. There we go. Um, I think I would say maybe I wanna say Cosmos, but I don't I'm I'm still skeptical about it because I still think that they're still doing what they need to do to build their infrastructure. So maybe right. not Cosmos. Um I think I would put Ethereum on there, but it's not 2.0 yet, so I I can't leave it there. I would most people would, but Ethereum did crash heavy. Right. Their ecosystem could crash, and I, I put that in with Solana, but I think so. I got Happy, Quant, VXV, Flow, and then the fifth one. Dang, if that, I would say XRP. Once the settlement ends, okay. XRP is going to be working nonstop. So that's your top five. Yeah. Okay. So I would go. I would agree with Happy. I would go with Happy. Uh, I would go with Cosmos, uh, Polkadot, Phantom. Um, Phantom the crypto. Phantom is a crypto, yeah. It's a, it's an ecosystem, but yeah. It's I never a looked it up. I thought it was, I was um, the wallet. And the last one would be XRP. So the two that we agree on is Happy and XRP, and then mine. You don't have Quant or VXV. You know, it's not. It's not that. Or it's, it's not that I don't. I don't right agree with those. Six. It's LCX just that I don't have. I didn't have enough space. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I just don't have enough. It's space. on there. Yeah. We only did top five. LCX you know what is saying? on there too, but LCX hasn't had its full run. Now if run we did yet. top ten. It's a little different yeah, story, yeah, but true. I only had five. You know what I'm saying? So that have, don't don't take it as oh damn, Mike is not you, No, let me shown, cut that right now. Have you shown? Uh, have I shown you the happy tweets yet? Or we do that later? Oh yeah, we'll get to the the happy portion uh, of the show, and I I have all those. Oh, too. see, I was tripping. I didn't see how that. But yeah, those are our five. Uh, my five again it was happy VXV quant, um, flow because flow sports, yep. doesn't stop dapper laps. That's why I think sports is gonna keep crypto alive because it's year round. And then XRP, yeah. And you wanna name your five? Name uh, you? yeah. So I got happy XRP, uh, Cosmos, uh, Phantom, and the last one was Phantom. I never even heard of Phantom. And and polka dot, yeah. Is it F A N T O M? F A N T O yeah. Oh that Phantom. okay, I've heard of that. Yeah. I never looked into it. I've seen it, but I never looked into it. You it, like Phantom? I love Phantom, man. I'm I, after I started looking more and more into it. Oh, I, you think so? What I'm do you guys like, put your five? I'm just like ah in the comments. <laughs> put your five. Whoever watched this part, put your five in the comments. What do you guys think? Exactly. What are your top five that you think that will survive the bear market? Let us know in the comments. There's gonna be more than that, obviously, but yeah, just, but that was just, just top just five. Your five that you like. Yeah, that was just top five. <laughs> um so yeah. So uh, we told you guys in the beginning of the show that we were going to tell you about Solana, right? We had to look at the price of Solana. You know, Solana's going crazy. You know, it's at two dollars and two dollars, two hundred and sixteen dollars and fifty. Yeah, two hundred sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, two dollars yeah. again. No, I said two hundred and sixteen uh, fifty-five. It's up almost fifteen percent on the day, man. And honestly, the reason, one of the reasons that I found those dips. Uh, that Solana is pumping is because of the DeFi space. Um, some of you guys may not know or may not know. Um, but the sole price rallied and also appeared uh, as a TVL. TVL is total value locked. So this is how much Man. value is locked inside the decentralized uh, projects on Solana. 
which is $13.5 billion in just Solana, Solana by itself, right? Um, and Solana launched a couple of uh, DeFi projects. Saber? Yeah, so they launched uh, Saber. They launched uh, another one called Radium. Another cool one called names. Sunny. Uh, Serium as well. Um, Serum. Serum, sorry. Uh, and then uh, Meridian Finance. Marinade. Marinade Finance, sorry. I'm terrible with... Uh, spelling and all that other jazz but um but yeah man the DeFi space for solana is actually really pushing solana uh for yeah and uh it's one of the reasons Just, i don't know if that's the at verbatim reason but you know that's one of the reasons that i found a that's, a, ago, that's a lot of money pumping into a, solana just a month ago you could have bought some nice dips for a while look how many days you could buy some dips look at that bam and it dipped again bam. and dip is low and but it, dip again yeah bam Look at all this time you could have been accumulating, accumulating, accumulating all the way up until just this weekend. Bow. We've been happy. You could have dipped again. Dipped again a little bit. Eh, not that bad, but still a dip nonetheless. Yeah, man. Right now wouldn't be a good time to buy. No. Not financial no. advice, but obviously. But No. It, I mean, it depends. Unless you just, unless you just start your dog card journey now. Yeah, if you're just starting now, then yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why we think, you know, Solana's pumping and you know, we want to give you guys a price update, give you some understanding of you know potentially what's going on that's not the verbatim truth of what it actually is but you know i feel like it has a a big part i like lcx now uh the next one we have to give you guys an update on is definitely going to be vector space ai as you guys see it is going up uh you know significantly last time we spoke about it what was it eight dollars yeah, 860 you know a lot of people were freaking out then they were like oh my god it's going down it's never going up <laughs> but uh shout out to uh <laughs> shout out to crypto nagato he uh actually charted vxv and uh for those of you who are listening to uh this on the podcast we are showing a chart of vxv currently uh now this is on the f uh i think this is on the four hour chart if i'm not mistaken um, but as you guys can see, this is called a downward flag, which tends to be a bullish sign whenever it goes down. As you guys can see, this line right here tends to be support. So this white box is an area support. So some people do line supports where, you know, as you guys can see right here, this red line, this is a line support. And then this white box is like an area of support. So as you guys can see, VXV has kind of consolidated inside of this, uh, it kept touching inside of this you know support box and basically what happened is it touched it and went down a little bit then went up then it went down and then went up then it went down and then now it's going to see if it's going to either go to the upside or go to the downside but you said it will explode in a matter of days the kucoin listing will potentially help yeah so i, I mean so too. We, we think that it's going to go to the upside i mean it's been consolidating for a while at what 872 <laughs> So, uh, you know, it's already starting to go back I, up. I can see VXV blasting past 20 bucks. Yeah. With it's, that KuCoin listing, Especially man. with the KuCoin listing, because it'll give people an easier barrier to entry to buy it. You know, they yeah. don't have to. I mean, you could go to ProBit, and let's be honest. You can go to ProBit, but then you're still going to have to pay. Coin Metro. You know, right? well, you got Coin Metro as well. But I don't I don't know. I don't really, I didn't really like Coin Metro. I'm going to be honest with you. But I, I mean, you swap. I use Uniswap. I use Uniswap as well. But you got ProBit where you could buy Bitcoin and swap it with Bitcoin if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, there's no fees with uh, with Coin Metro. So there, there's another way to get in. VXV is gonna pump hard, man. People are gonna be flooding into it using, you know, and they know they're like, okay, if I buy it this amount, like it's like buying Quant. Facts. Think about how being Quant ever hitting ten dollars again. Do you know? My <laughs> yeah exactly you know what i mean yeah people know yeah. they know they're like people who know and vector space has been been spiraling on twitter for a long time just wait for it it's so it's easier for people to buy it's when Shh. it's when people stop talking about it is when you want to get into yeah, it yeah right now I mean, people are saying? talking about it but it's like the community yeah it's not but they're not, right it's now. not like as it was in the beginning yeah. when it was like at 17 dollars, 15 dollars. everyone was talking about stuff. oh you know what i'm saying that's when you're like okay well everyone is doing this Talking about VXV is going to zero. That's when you should be selling, technically, if you're in, the, in that game of profit. like Swing taking, trading? Yeah. yeah. That's when you want to be selling. When everyone's like hype. Oh, VXV is going to 17. Oh, yeah, look. Oh. That's when you be selling. Like Quant right now, it's kind of slow key. You want to be buying right now. It's been under $300 for a while. It's a yeah. pretty good entry point. Yeah. I mean, that leads perfectly into Ooh. this one. Um, with Quant being at $2. Do Why do I keep saying $2? $295.15 cents down almost two percent on the day it hasn't reached 300 in a while i think what like yeah. a week week and a yeah. half 
So, uh, you know, if you if you wanted to, you know, dollar cost average in the quant, maybe you bought in quant at what, 350, maybe, <laughs> you know, 400. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This this could bring your average down a lot. Uh, that one guy that, that bought at 400 is like, I'm selling quant once I get my money back. This is a shit coin. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was going to hit 10,000 that night oh, well, when he bought it. That's 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 <laughs> why you should do your investors. own research. You should do your own research and you would figure out that that's not actually going to happen. Not now. Come on, man. Time. You got to wait. This is this, this. The crypto space. Can you amass a lot of money in the crypto space? Yes. Without without question, you can. But there's levels to it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get into a Shiba Inu or a Booba Doopa Chupa Chupa. They want that fast money. You know, you get that fast money, but your eyes are going to go so big. You're going to be like, oh, it can go higher. It can go higher. And then that's when you get slid all the way back down. And sometimes you get rugged. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Which, which, I mean, the person that bought Quan at four hundred dollars, you know, I'm not saying that you know you're. It's bad that you bought at four hundred dollars. I'm just saying like, it's at two two hundred and ninety five dollars right now. You can bring your average down and accumulate more, if you really agree with what Quan will Quan, do. Quan is going to change the game. You got to give it time to build. They're they're in the Digital Pound Foundation with XRP and Exonium. Give them time to build it. Even Avalanche. Just as wait well. until that thing is built. Wait until that thing is complete in the next year or two. Exactly. Now, shout out to uh, Liverpool one sixty four. His tweet says it's 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 the best time to sell Sheeb right now because Sheeb was Up, was yeah. on its all time high and get into quant to make at least a five x minimum. Yep. Minimum. Yep, whoever's in the quant, I mean a Sheeb, sell your profits, get some quant, get some. I mean it's utility. down right now. I mean you should have sold what like maybe was it the weekend? Yesterday. Yesterday was it high yeah, before I tweeted that. Yeah, before Elon tweeted it, you should have uh, took themselves some profits. In the foot. They're shooting themselves in the foot. I, I, I watched a Twitter, a Twitter. I watched a, a, a TikTok, and this guy was like, you know, to the sheep community. He's like, bro, I'm in the sheep community, but I took my profits. He was up like 175,000. Yeah, people were crazy. That was, and then people were like, bro, why did you say I was going to go higher? It's going to go higher. He's like, you guys are the problem. You guys are the ones who's gonna cry about, oh, I was up, you know, hundred thousand dollars and I I held like an idiot and it slid me all the way back down to five K, ten K or whatever you put into it. You know what I'm saying? There's a time and a place for holding, but you don't hold that, in my opinion. You don't hold a meme coin. Are you gonna hold a meme coin throughout the bear market? Like I don't like like what is that gonna do for you though? It's like holding safe moon right now. I mean, I, we, didn't we just see a tweet of somebody asking how to get out of Safe Moon? Like, what are you? What? You're not good. You're holding coins that don't do anything productive. In other bear, than other it, than someone just pump it, pump it. it like, in the bear market, that is going to crash like nobody's business. Uh, and then if regulation happens, it's going to disappear. So you you technically didn't take your profits when it was the highest, and then you go into the bear market. Regulation cracks off. It's deemed a security. It disappears. Now you'll never, ever be able to amass the amount of I, wealth that you would have had you sell sold at the all-time high. I just want people to hopefully acknowledge the fact that as most people would probably hype this train and talk positive, like, yeah, go buy some sheep, make some money. It's like, like, I don't care if you do or don't. Like, if you make money, go do what you want with your money. Just don't end up broke again. You know what I mean? Exactly. Just don't end up broke again. So. Yeah. Like at least we're not chasing cheap. Yeah, sheep's a new. That's what a lot of people are doing. A lot of people got re resurrected. All these YouTubers that make videos off of sheep, and then now she's pumping. They get resurrected. Ah! And then and then like two months are dead again. They disappear again. They go into hiding again. Exactly. <laughs> we got nothing to talk about. I mean, <laughs> look, it, it's not that we hate sheep, right? It's just that we hate the thought of what people think that it's supposed to be. Yeah. Right. They they believe this is supposed to be their their all savior that is going to, you know, go to a cent. It's like, bro, for it to hit a cent, it's going to be a three point five trillion dollar market cap. That's bigger than the whole entire crypto space. Do you really think that sheep is going to be bigger than Bitcoin? I mean, some people are even skeptical, skeptical about Ethereum flipping Bitcoin. But we all believe that that's gonna eventually happen. But she, yeah, I'm done with she. Come I'm on, man. Speech. <laughs> now another one that that potentially could do some really amazing numbers that we got into recently is Happy. 
Happy man, I've been sleeping on Happy. I'm not gonna lie to we you. We got guys. it on the same day, didn't we? In the sixty nine dollars. Yeah, I got it in the sixty nine dollars. Uh, full it's, transparency. It's the same day we did. Um, we time. bought the Avalanche to do time, just yeah, making yeah. passive income on time right now. So yeah, I was shout sleeping. out to Dante Defi. Shout out putting shout us out. on that because now we're making money on time passively. And yeah, in the Discord, I in the morning this morning I've showcased. I like tweeted how to. I'm not tweeted. I messaged how to do it like briefly. Nice. You know? Yeah, yeah, we we've yet to do a time video. I'm not sure yeah, if we get, will. You get people, to, um, people to ask about it. Yeah, I mean, if you if you really want us to do a time video, then we probably will. But Dante DeFi has a yeah. really really detailed version of it. I um, mean, he does a really amazing job. Yep. So you guys should definitely check that out. I mean, we can link it in the description down below. But uh, one we have been really sleeping on is Happy. You know, like we said, we got in at sixty nine dollars. Um, you know, and I'm I'm really excited. Uh, when I got in, I I made I made some money. You know what Same. I'm saying? I yep. made some money um now imagine i would have gotten happy when it was like a 15 bucks yeah um but you know you, you you know you live and you learn you know what i'm saying when i first looked at happy i didn't know what the heck it was you know i just thought it was like a kind of like a meme i'm not gonna Dude, lie the logo freaked me out a little bit yeah it scared me a little bit it is kind of it kind of freaks you out a little bit but uh but no man happy has some pretty amazing amazing things i mean john even tweeted out because you know we we found market cap of uh shout out to uh the discord member who found it um I think it was right here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so John did a, you know, market cap of, of where happy would be had it hit these specific market caps of these specific yeah. tokens. So Matic token, uh, I think the market 11 cap is billion. What, 11 billion. Yeah. Yeah. So at 11 billion market cap, this is how much happy would be. <laughs> One happy would be this much at it's 11 insane. billion. It's insane. There's only a million in supply. Now at, Dogecoin's market cap, which is <laughs> technically what, like top ten? Yeah, uh, thirty-three billion. Would, at thirty-three billion 10. market cap, it would be worth seventy-one thousand. Um, and then if we do a uh, quant market which is at cap, three point five billion, which is at three point five, rank number fifty. Um, it would be worth almost eight thousand dollars. So a minimum of three to four thousand if it's in the top one hundred. Exactly, it would be a, like a billion. A billion dollar market yeah. cap would probably put it somewhere in the neighborhood of three to four thousand dollars. Maybe five. Maybe five. You know, so. do you have that other tweet I sent you? Where it was? Um... Uh, I don't have it pulled up. Let me see. Uh, that one. This one? Yeah. Let me see. Look at that. Oh yeah, happy. Uh, Shout out to Crypt 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 Token. Crypt Token. That's a cool name. That is a cool name. <laughs> that is a cool name. Uh, he said the next uh, hundred million market cap, two hundred dollars all time high, and then a billion dollar market cap, two thousand plus. Oh yeah, that's 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 basically yeah. Basically, what we, what we just solidified. It hit fifty million um, market cap. That's why. Yeah, it dipped a little bit under. Uh, it is a little yeah. under fifty billion, million, but uh, still, it's fine. Still hit, it still hit it. You it know, that, that was it. the first time ever hitting it. So it's, that's a baby. baby. Fifty million dollar market cap is a baby. Just wait until the elites find out about happy. Like, oh, exactly. What is this? Oh, another big. Imagine. It's, the the thing is about market cap. If you can find a token that has uh you know, utility oh. that's under you know 100 million i mean only only half of its supply is in circulation also exactly happy is a sleeper you guys i think so shout out to the happy community like i was on this honestly skeptical a lot of people would be because you don't hear about it you don't hear people talking about it unless you're in the community and then you just look at the tokenomics one and then you look at what it's supposed to do security and everything right yep. i'm still learning more about it and i'm like man you gotta pull the trigger like yeah. even though it's a hundred dollars it's like you know but the potential of it yeah, 50 million dollar market cap the potential of this thing this can be a solid base for any crypto investor it, just like quant just like it VXB, could be it could be a base you know yes, you're right you're it's correct. a strong base that you put like most of your percentage of your your let's like, say you have a thousand dollars you can buy like three or four of these babies and so have like six hundred dollars left over to invest That's... into you know whatever else you want yep if you got a thousand yeah, bucks you know we, what I mean? we, we were sleeping on happy uh you know it is happy i mean okay i would say as a bold prediction i would say in the bull run potentially we could hit a billion dollar market cap i'm not gonna say that we can go super crazy but i would say a billion dollar market cap at least at least at half minimum, a billion. or even minimum half a billion 500 million definitely that's still you know what i'm saying that's a freaking that's crazy money you know what i'm saying that's crazy money uh and you know i would hate Look for you it, guys to, 11, to people miss out watching it yeah exactly but i think those eleven thousand are gonna are gonna 
you know, ape in when it, you know, 112, 115. Get, you know, I think all you need is like one happy, maybe two, three, just so you can sell Like right, right now, this late in the, in, the, in the bull market, I feel like, yeah, maybe maybe one just to sit on, you know? Yeah, one or two. Yeah. I would, if you can get five, you'd be good. You get five, hold on to those five. You could sell a couple of them when it hits a certain number. You could sell one and it hits 10,000. You sell another one when it hits 50,000. You know what I mean? Like, hey, exactly. 20, I don't know. Now you, you got money to play. Now your your life has changed. Facts. You don't. You may not think ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand not a lot of money. You have that, that it will adds up. it will change your life because you got to flip it. it. It's stupid if you have that money and you go buy some PS fives and <laughs> go eat and take your friends out and stuff. Oh god, that's stupid. But you <sighs> make that ten thousand, fifteen thousand. You now you flipping that five of that ten to fifteen, or it just never stops. It never, never stop. stops, man. It just literally never stops. Once you make that first, you know, five figure. Uh, that's five figures, right? Ten thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Flip that thing. Get six figures. Now six figures. Get seven figures. Now you're and good. On Life and on and on and on. Keep going. Gain, I, Start I, businesses. Invest. Re- invest into some businesses. I read somewhere. Dividends. They said that Dividends. life is all about doubles. If you get any amount of money, figure out a way to double it and just continue to double it and double it and double it. I mean, even even in marketing or anything that works, what is the first thing that they tell you? double down on it happy you double down on it happy you know is saying? something that you could teach a child how to make money <laughs> happy is like one of those cryptos he bought it at 77 dollars or 69 dollars or whatever and then now it's like 106 like see it's on w. you made some money you know you, you want to buy another one <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. daddy oh, i'm happy oh happy day <laughs> That's a theme song for me. Every time I look at Happy. Oh, oh Happy man. Day. Is that from uh <laughs> Is that is that the sisters, uh the nuns of Whoopi Goldberg? It's that one too, but it's uh What's that movie Mar- called? Ah, dang it. What's that movie called? I can't it's Whoopi Goldberg's in it. She's like uh she pretends to be a nun. Yeah, Sisters Act? Yeah, Sisters Act. Sisters Act. Oh no, what movie is it from? Like, oh, Happy Day. That, I think that's Martin Lawrence, bro. Big Mama's House. Oh, I mean, they use that song everywhere, though. Yeah, I think everywhere. that's Big Mama's House. <laughs> uh, but, I'm going to tweet that today. <laughs> oh, Happy Day. But nonetheless, guys, um, <laughs> we like to give you guys some crypto motivation. We don't just like to, to, buy that to thing. allow for you guys to listen to what we're saying because we don't want you to believe anything we're saying, right? We want you guys to have the inclination to the gumption to want to kind of do your own research and find out these things for yourself. But we do want to leave you guys with some uh, some crypto motivation. So shout out to uh, Elio Trades. He says it has a cool ass profile picture. The NFT. It is a cool Damn. NFT. I think that might be a Solana NFT if Damn. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, cool. Gorilla Ape with glasses. Dang. <laughs> pretty dope. <laughs> pretty dope glasses. But um, he said being 100% engaged with this space, talking about the crypto space, whether it's NFTs, uh, DeFi, whatever, um, in the next 90 days will net you more gains than most people will make in 10, 10 years. years. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's what I'm talking about. If you don't believe, you're, doing, you're being a fool. You're being a fool if you don't believe. <laughs> I mean, she been Doge and all these coins. If you don't believe in utility, if you think speculation and nonsense is making money, you don't, and you think that utility don't, there's people out there that are literally making fun of people that are investing into utilities. And they're like, oh, you smart investors. I'm like, do you, if you think that she and all these trash coins are doing this well, what makes you think that these coins that are going to change the world going to do? Like you, you think they're just not things that you know, that's like making fun of Amazon. It's like, oh, you gotta sell books online. I can just go to Barnes and I'm gonna buy it. I, I can guarantee you idiot. some people said that. I can almost guarantee you some people said that. You stupid um, idiot. Now, one one thing that uh I wanna say about that tweet though, it, he said in the next ninety days. Now, mm-hmm. you know, me personally Project, projection. I don't I don't necessarily wanna put a, a limit that's on it. Year. That's the rest of the year. Oh, okay. October, November, December. Oh, nine days, three days in got a month. Got it, got it, got it. Maybe all of January too. Potentially. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't I don't necessarily want to put like a, a, a time frame on it. I just feel like if you're hundred percent engaged in this space and wanna really learn, because I mean, like we said all the time, our first crypto that we got into that we flipped that got us our start was Dogecoin. Right? That that's a meme coin, right? But it didn't stop there for us. It, we didn't just take that money and go, oh damn, dog, got some new Jordan one. Yeah, we bought. I bought new- Dogecoin at three cents. Technically, that was still late because people were bought, bought in at zero, 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 like whatever. Right. We bought in at three, 
And then I remember arguing with people like buying at six was too high, buying at eight was too high. But and I'm like, nah, just dog cost average in. I never sold. I never sold. You exactly. too. We never. People were selling, people were buying at six, eight, eight, and then jumped down as five. They sold at five. You dummies. Like, yeah. <laughs> no offense, but now looking back at it, I just I was like, hey, am I like I was still so learning this this thing. I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna keep holding it. Like, why am I gonna sell at a loss or whatever? I'm just gonna keep holding it. Right. What am I gonna do with putting in like five hundred dollars into this and then making? 200 oh what am i gonna do with that i just held it and then look what happened it hit 20 we sold at 73 <laughs> right before right before that uh that saturday <laughs> light so, and saturday <laughs> night live thing <laughs> but, uh, but 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 basically what i was saying man was we could have literally took the money and bought dumb stuff with it we could have went Ethereum. and bought a tv we could have went and bought a put it on the down payment on a car we could have did a whole bunch of stuff but we ended up putting it back into crypto there that, is, that's all i'm saying yeah there is instances where people need it like if they you know what i mean they're in a financial hole they owe money right they I, got you I got a court that. date or you got something you got to pay that's gonna take something away from you like like you might get in Your trouble or, or something. anything like that. Oh, of course. Like, oh, you're about to get evicted or whatever the case may be. Right. There's protect. That's that's good. You know, I'm not saying, oh, go broke and, you know, be homeless. Like, no, I mean, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying for people who are investing in it and they're not, like you said, don't invest what you can lose and don't invest what you need right back or whatever the case may be. Exactly. If you are investing into that and you make that amount of money, that amount of time that was like a couple months you know like 400 500 percent in a couple months you don't like that's like what he's saying so that money that you make parlay that into something that's gonna make you more money to get you out of the system that you're in if you're not happy with where you are but if you're already happy then you're just playing you're playing the game you're playing the game you know it's not gonna apply to everybody exactly. but there's some people that are like hey i'm making money on crypto now you're you're, you're, you're in a sense of gambling if you're staying with the meme coin area but like our channel says, hey, parlay that into some real use cases, fundamentals. Like we're not a freaking, you know, asset learning, you know, teaching um, channel. We're not going to teach you how to go buy real estate. <laughs> like, right, right. Exactly. So what we're going to do is recommend crypto, not financial advice. We're not, I mean, we do, we'll mention, say, hey, we're going to, like, personally, we're going to get into Toro business, real estate. We have businesses and we're going to invest into more businesses, create more businesses. You can do that too. Content creation. Yeah. You can do any of that stuff too. But like you said, just don't put yourself back in a hole that you were in already and you crawl yourself out of exactly Just to go back dig another hole and you know get into debt and if it's not mean? if it's not a hundred percent necessary that you have to take your crypto out yeah. to pay for the real world and it's kind of crazy to keep saying the real world but i mean you got to really think about it the metaverse might be a full thing it is like, going to be thing. ready player no, one it is going to be thing. like i that, want that that to could happen. be like life bro so uh so just honestly guys just if you're in a crypto right now, I know it looks I know it looks rough. I know it looks scary. But if you're in really good projects, even if you're in meme coins right now, you have opportunities to to make some money, change your life and then double down on it. Yeah, double down. That's all I'm going to say think, on that. I think being in the metaverse, I just hope we're not too old. I just hope I'm not like 50. Finally, it's here. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be that. Like, I'm, yeah, I, think I'm, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna be talking like that when, when our technology and our science and everything is so much better now that being 50, like The Rock is 50, but I mean, you know, I'm not saying I'm The Rock, but you know what I mean? Being right, 50 right, right, is not right. like, uh, I hope I'm not like 80, 70 when the metaverse is finally done. I don't think so. I don't wanna put finally put my goggles on. I've been waiting 50 years for this. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Imagine the old sale. Your kids like thirty. Like, dad, you like that? I've been waiting. Get out of here! Get out of here! I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. <laughs> you take a step. <laughs> it's like it's like when you go to Disneyland and or when they did the Incredibles too. The dad oh, they did yeah. the selfie with the Incredibles. Like they smacked the kid out the way. Hey, I've been waiting ten years for this. <laughs> or the new Toy Story or Finding Nemo. Yeah. Finding Nemo two came out finally. That's funny. The kid's like, no, it's not for you. It's for me. This is not for you. This movie is for me. <laughs> You're like thirty five. <laughs> this is for me. Oh man! But honestly, guys, if you guys want to be around like minded people, hang out and do all this cool stuff. You know, we got two hundred fifty plus people inside the Discord right now. Join the public Discord, man. It's completely free. All you need to do is hit the Beacons link, top link at the top. Join the Discord, man. It's Look, a very, info, uh, very fun place to uh, that, to be. I forgot to say that tweet. Uh -huh. That tweet. He says, being 100% engaged with this space during the next 90 days will net you more games. I think what he's saying is that just being in the space and playing the game along the way over the next 90 days or so, you will be making more money than people are, you know. Slaving for Yeah. It. 
Yeah. That's what he's saying. So investing into something like VXV has potential to blow up. Quant, LCX, right? Happy day. Happy. You buy some happy. Think about how much you're spending out when you're eating out. You're spending like $20 a day, $20 every other day on food, right? Starbucks coffee. Yeah. That shit is that, expensive. You can hell. easily make $100 in a week if you really want to. Go sign up on Instacart. Go sign up DoorDash. Go make $100. Go create a picture, post something, ask people who, who can, uh, you could post for them, consecration, every, anything you can think of. Yeah, man. Clean some, wash some cars, something. You can buy a couple happy, you'd be good to go. Not financial advice, but any crypto, right? If you really want to do it, you can do it. That's all I'm saying. Very much so. Uh, follow us on all of our uh, socials, TikTok, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, all at Cryptologic Pod. Join the public Discord. As we said before, like uh, the video. Under an hour. Damn. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. I was trying to keep the rants going because someone someone said, I never want to see a video under an hour again. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get you tomorrow, man. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Here it goes a little yeah.